just gonna get out and do a little bit of walking and check out some of these headstones. It's very bright out, but I am not complaining because it's actually warm today and I only have one layer on as opposed to three. Three. <laughs> um, so we're gonna check that out. someone in their coffin. I can say that's definitely a first that I've seen. So Brandon pointed this out, which is very interesting. Catherine, born 1881, but there's no death date. And William, who I guess was preferred Bill, it says he was gulled in 1947. So already I'm a bit confused by this headstone because there's no way that that woman is still alive at 1881. So I'm assuming she's not buried here. And I don't know what gold mean. I mean, I know what it means, but in the context of this, I, I'm confused. So it's a very interesting headstone, to say the least.
Brandon found another one. Born 1881, died 19 blank. So either they never engraved it. I mean, I'm assuming he's here. It'd be pretty old if he was still alive. I mean, these ones look to be like they're in maybe Ukrainian, Russian, I'm not sure which. That only has one date on it. I'm assuming that's birth date. So there's no same thing. There's no death date. It's very interesting. So Brian and I have determined that we think, this is our theory, that man is a vampire and he never died. Well, he died, but he's not buried there. And that's why it just says 19 because he's no, there's no way he's 140, whatever it is. So we're just assuming that he's a vampire and he's still walking the graveyard somewhere. Right, B? I think it uh, seems like the only safe bet possible explanation. Yeah, vampires. <laughs> Yeah. They exist. That's proof vampires. of it right there. Yeah. Totally. It has to be.